Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. See what happens. Oh, it's Sebastian again. Potions is oh, one of that guy. the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan mm. Weld Potion. I have a lot of those. Mr. Takar, Can I just cheat it? Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Well, that's it. Oh. Use okay. a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Yeah, mix, Please mix, mix. When adding powder to your potions, one errant sneeze could be disastrous. Well, I only pressed it once. Okay. Don't stir. Stir, 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 stir. Go, go, go. Faster, faster. He's really not teaching. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Ooh, fast. Mm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. I want to make your you skin hard. The ingredients okay. you need in my office. Aki. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Stealing. Come see me when you finished brewing. Oh. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. You want to see if it's skill or luck, I Don't show ye. I simply grow most of what I need. My Wigan Well potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from J. Pippins. Professor Sharp said... My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Uh, I was trying to talk to this lady, excuse you. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it more. What's an aura? I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the oh, Wigan Well. I wasn't. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. Of course. And I've never seen I'm anyone amazing. brew such a flawless Wigan Well potion on their first try. Well done. Uh. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You okay. must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating um, language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking okay. of stars, we'll be in astronomy This together. guy talks You'll so much. It. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay. Fine job brewing your first Wigan Weld potion. But there. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy mm. with potions, if I do Weasley. say so myself. Weasley. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? Oh. She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. 
I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. Mm, You're as do I want to help? I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Mmm, I'll get it. Very well. I'll bring you a fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay, hopefully it's not a bad idea. I already have all those, right? Except for the fur. Remember, precision is key when brewing potions. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay. But my station was... The didn't eat or crush it. The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh, Endurus potion. What? I didn't even make it. It just takes... Oh, that's boring. I should get an option to for you to choose. Do you want to brew yourself or quick brew? Like brew it for the first time, brew it yourself, and then afterward quick brew. Now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Well, Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. Get it. Get it. Oh. oh. Ooh, firework. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. It wasn't me. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy. Oh, helping how did you know? Brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. Hmm. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Like. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. What does that mean? Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, that's it. I guess they really can't expel this guy. Since his auntie is Professor Weasley. Hello. Uh, is something like this? Attention.
Oh, it's like sitting in a Gucci box. There's a problem in here. Oh, go to the window area. Go right in here. Maybe. Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the bar. What's with all Pinch their Smedleys? name is so weird. I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the... No! Lake. Might you be the one to help me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. <laughs> Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. It's called the Black Lake. Family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Forget your father. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. Oh, then you go we get yours. Oh my God! Our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Never heard of you. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Mm. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. I'm not giving device. it to you if I'm diving down Sadly, there. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. My grandparents are probably going to stay with me mm. if it still works. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced oh. the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess Ch is Ch that Ch it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I'm not giving it to you. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. Northeast. Should dive down and see. Oh God. Okay. Um. Okay. So if you guys don't know, I have a fear of the unknown in water, aka this oh, god yeah i can still see the bottom which means it's not that deep and there goes the bottom all right this must be where the pinch smedley family astrolabe is oh no i have to do more searching no cracking no cracking no cracking Flashback. There's a kraken in this water. You are lying. I swear to God, there not be any kraken. Oh man, this is not. This is not it. Oh, I found it. I should let Grace know that I found her family. Oh Australia. God. Oh God. Go back. Go back. Go. Oh no, there's another one. I'm already here. Might as well. It's 
Swoop, 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 swoop. Go, 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 go. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh my god. Why do you swim so slow? Oh god, I'm I'm good. I'm safe. I see the bottom. Oh my god, that was horrifying. Not fun. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Hmm. For that, you're paying I the did, price. But it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. That's fair, I suppose. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You'd do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down nope. there. Nope. Nope. Thank you again. 20? I do hope you keep diving. What? You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. She gave me 20. Alright, I guess that's it for today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.